Let's take a quick look at the Strubim Cype3D interface to get to know the program and its main functions. The program is divided into two tabs, Structure and Foundations. In the first tab, Structure, we carry out the design and analysis of the superstructure. The centre of the interface contains the model viewing window. Here, we enter the elements of the structure into the space and then consult the data obtained after the analysis. This window allows us to move the frame, rotate it, and zoom into a completely three-dimensional work environment. We can configure and manage multiple windows to work with different model views, including 3D and 2D views, as well as views of the whole structure or a part of it. At the top of the interface, there are different menus that contain most of the program's options. From left to right, in first place we find the settings menus for file and project, the one for general tools and the management menu for the jobs planes. Further along, via the options from the node, bar, shells, load and joints menus, we are going to define and enter all the elements of the structure. In analysis, we can carry out the structure analysis. Then, the results will be exported by the BIM Server Center button. There are also utilities for managing the viewing windows and a help menu with the available program documentation. Underneath the menu bar, there are two toolbars. On the left-hand side is the top toolbar to save, edit templates, edit views, the option to activate or deactivate references to elements in the job with template object snaps, as well as undo or redo the last actions carried out in the project. On the right-hand side of the toolbar, we have the options for printing reports and drawings, among others. The second toolbar includes buttons for the most important menu options, and it can be configured to suit our preferences. The second tab, Foundations, is where we carry out the design and analysis of the foundation elements. To do this, the program automatically uses the results obtained in the analysis of the superstructure. Similarly to the previous task, in the central part of the interface we find the foundation viewing window where the elements that make up the foundation are entered using a plan view. In this tab's toolbar, first we see the Project, Foundation Elements and Limits menus for entering Foundation. Once the Foundation has been entered, we carry out the Analysis from the Analysis menu. Also in this tab, below the menus, we have the same first toolbar. Underneath it, we have the second toolbar which can also be customised, including by default the most important options of the aforementioned menus, which include Check and Design, among others. 